Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. I want to turn now to the Robert Mueller investigation and some news that came out more than a day ago, but I think it's still important and I want to break it down, especially because we have Piper Perabo in studio right now. The development that happened this week was that the special counsel has apparently eased up slightly on his demands for the president's involvement in terms of interviews. So for some questions, he is apparently going to accept written responses, which will totally be written by Donald Trump. He'll totally write it himself and it will come via DM. <laughs> um, and so he will apparently accept written quest, uh, written answers from Trump on uh, questions of whether his campaign conspired with Russia's election interference. However, he uh, did not say that he was giving up on an interview altogether, including on questions of, of obstruction of justice. And that is an area where we might still have a sit down perjury trap interview or whatever, where he uh, continually lies and, and implicates himself. So you have a theory about this. I was what sort of excited when I saw this because first of all, I think people are getting impatient. And so maybe this helps move the ball down the field to go okay. back to like our football analogy about getting closer <laughs> to finishing. I think if he, if Mueller gives Trump the opportunity to answer some questions written, then maybe he'll answer some in person. He'll be mm -hmm. so confident, not because that's smart or because Mueller should have to negotiate this, but Trump is very, I mean, hubris is hopefully will be his downfall. So mm -hmm. maybe that- He might uh, get cocky. Yeah. And mm. also I think okay. in the way that you saw with Kamala Harris asking a question that she knows the answer to, the fact that Mueller will accept a written answer means he knows the answer already. And okay. anything you say will incriminate you. He's not going to do this unless he knows how it's going to play out. This guy like mm -hmm. understands the long game. So the fact that he's even willing to do it means whatever you say, he's got you. He could potentially use it against you. I think he's that smart. Yeah, so I, I think- I think there are two possibilities. I think that you perfectly laid out one of them. I think the other that seems less likely is that he is giving up on the possibility of getting him in for an interview and he wants something. And so getting written responses at least will be something. I don't think that that's likely. I think it's probably more likely at this point that he knows something enough that Donald Trump in his responses, even in written form, could potentially commit perjury. I just, I wonder, because I made a joke obviously before about Donald Trump being the one to answer, but he's not going to. It's gonna be his lawyers who are gonna write the most carefully worded thing ever. Um, a level of precision Donald Trump's tweets have never reached. And so I really wonder how much information could possibly be revealed in these questions. Even if Mueller does have something and he's ready to spring the trap, um, will Donald Trump's lawyers be savvy enough to avoid that trap? I think, look, if they're not savvy enough, if this question is written so perfectly that whether you answer yes or no, mm -hmm. you're incriminating yourself, then if they send those things and Mueller can say whatever your answer was, you're incriminated. Now, either Trump's incriminated or Trump has to say, I didn't answer that. Mm -hmm. And so he's in trouble for that. You know, He blames it on the lawyers, which you see him do over and over again. Yeah. He throws people under the bus. So if this doesn't go well with the written answers, he'll throw them under the bus mm -hmm. and now he's in trouble. Like. I wouldn't want to play like a board game with Mueller or chess with Mueller because it seems like he's got the whole thing set up. I don't know. That's I would, my like. I would die. I have like so optimistic. many board games I would play with Mueller. Actually, <laughs> just to see. I'm gonna lose. I'm not good with them. In no, you're gonna lose. Times. Um, but no, if you, I'll play you in Catan. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So really fast. I know we only have a couple minutes later. I'm just, I'm just curious. You follow this a lot. You think about this a lot. Uh, does, does Donald Trump make it to his reelection bid? I don't think so. Interesting. Okay, okay. I don't think so. I mean, I have high hopes about the midterms, mm -hmm. and I have a lot of faith in Mueller. I don't think you work on this investigation to make sure it's perfect and airtight for this long. If you don't have anything, mm -hmm. he's not up there twiddling his thumbs. I hope not, and he's got a gigantic team. I will say, I am feeling very antsy about the entire thing, and I wish that it would be wrapped up. It keeps me awake at night. It feels like it's been going on for a very long time. I know, but things take time, and this is, you know, you have to follow where it's gonna lead. Yeah. And so, that's a lot of work to do. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notified of our new videos. And catch the Damage Report every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.